All right, so what we're doing here today is we are going over the parts of a microscope. All right, and I have a microscope right here, and you're going to be filling out the sheet that I gave you uh, on Wednesday. And then if you don't have it, you can draw it out and you can put it on paper and do it that way. It's not hard to draw it out either. All right, but that's what you can do, or you can print it out, whatever you like to do. Um, anyways, but we're going to go over the parts of the microscope right here. And uh, let me review each part here just to make sure I have all of them right here. All right. Um, so starting off, let me point my camera down. All right, I have my eyepiece. These are my eyepieces, all right, or my oculars. All right, and so you can write that on your paper right here. These are my eyepieces. Eyepiece. Eyepiece. All right, this is my, this part right here is the body tube. The hand part I'm touching right here is the body tube. The body tube. Raise your hand if you got a question or a comment. Do not make any comments or questions unless you raise your hand. Hold on one second. I'll say it again in a little bit. All right, so we have the eyepiece, the body tube right here. All right. Um, this next part right here is these, these right here, these four are the, what are these called? Does anybody remember what these are called? We had, did our notes on them yesterday. They're called the objective lenses. Yes, they're lenses, they're objective lenses. All right, these are the objective lenses. All right. Raise, I, did you raise your hand? All right, Shh, not right now. Shh. All right, because I'm tired of the extra, it's disruptive. All right, this part right here is the arm. All right, this part where you hold is the arm. This one right here. All right. This next part right here that I'm touching, what I'm tapping my fingers on is the stage. All right, this is the stage. All right. The next thing right here at the bottom, the very bottom is the base. The bottom is the base right here. I'm going to go over it on my microscope. I will go fast on what I do on the microscope. Um, the next part is the big adjustment, the big knob. You're gonna see that this has two knobs on it. There's the big knob on the back and there's the little knob on the front. The big knob is called the coarse adjustment. The coarse adjustment. So the big knob is called the coarse adjustment. The little knob is called the fine adjustment. And it's on both sides. Coarse adjustment's the big knob. And the fine adjustments, the little knob. There's two different ones. There's one that says fine, and there's one that says coarse. And then I'm going to show uh, the key in just a minute. All right. Uh, the lamp is down here at the bottom, right here. This is the lamp. That's the lamp. Um, this thing down here that's right in the front is called the diaphragm ring. It controls how much light goes in and out. It's right in the front. It's called the diaphragm ring. Yep. This is the diaphragm ring. It's this thing right here. All right. Spell as best you can. I'm going to have the answers up in just a minute here. Diaphragm ring. 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 All right. Um, again, spell as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect here. Um, let me see here. Do I have page clips in here? Page clips. No. All right. Do I have glutenation control? Yeah, I do. All right. This thing right at the very, very bottom. This thing right here at the very bottom is the illumination control switch. The illumination control switch turns up the brightness here. All 
control switch. All right. All right. Uh, going back to the app, this one right here, this is the diaphragm right here. This is the diaphragm. All right. And it's called the aperture diaphragm ring. It's called the aperture. Aperture means pole. It controls how much light, it controls the hole that's up in here that lets the light through. And if you can, you can, can shut the hole or you can uh, open the hole to let how much light in. Okay. It's called the aperture diaphragm ring. Aperture diaphragm ring. So let's review. I'm going to review all of them. This is the eyepiece or the oculars. All right. This right here is the body tube. This part right here is the arm. All right, this black area right here is the stage. These right here are the objective lenses here. All right, the objective lenses. The thing that controls the objective lenses right here, this little part right here. All right, this part that controls the objective lenses is the nose piece, the revolving nose piece. Revolving nose piece. All right. Um, and they don't tell you this, but I do want you to know this. These are the stage knobs. I'm not sure if it's on that. It's not actually here, but this, these are the stage knobs. You don't have to mark it. These are the stage knobs that controls the stage. It controls the stage. All right. Um, it is on there. All right. I think so. Yes. So underneath the fine adjustment is the stage knobs. They have the city and Gabby. All right, stay in the end. All right, so those are some of the parts. The bottom is called the base. The right here, this thing right here is called the, the lamp. All right, over here is called the illumination control switch. The big knob is called the course adjustment and the little knob is the fine adjustment. Um, and so those are some of the, all the parts of our um, microscope. I'm gonna show you what they have here. I might even add or take away from what they have. Um, let me show you the one that I have here that they gave me. All right, here's the one that they give me here. You can see that they have oculars, body tube, objectives, nose piece ring or revolving nose piece. I can't zoom in any more than that. I have it here. It won't allow me to zoom in anymore. All right, this is the aperture diaphragm ring, which allows that controls the hole right there. All right. Um, next thing here, this is the lamp. This is the illumination control switch. This is the base. And I would change this one right here. It says substage condenser knob. I would say that's more of the stage control knobs, stage control knobs. So I'm gonna write that on there. I'll by hand write stage control knobs. Stage. Stage control knobs. Then we have the fine adjustment or fine focus and the coarse focus on the outside. The arm, the objectives, the body too. Yes. 
Uh, that's called the substage condenser. Substage condenser. Sub means it's below, it's below the stage and it's a condenser and it messes with the light a little bit. We're gonna use a lot of these coming up, all right? We're gonna use these coming up, all right? All right, so that is the first part of that. The other part is this. When we get our microscope into beginning position, let me show you what you need to do, all right? When you get your microscope in beginning position, you're going to take your microscope and put the stage all the way down, all right? And so your stage may not all be all the way, be all the way down. You wanna turn it so that the stage goes all the way down. All right, so that stage goes all the way down. The way you do that is by turning the course adjustment. So stage goes all the way down. That's how you get your microscope ready to use. Then you're gonna put it on the low power objective, which is the red. And it's gonna click into space. You'll hear it click. All right, it clicks into space, uh, into its place. And then um, you're going to put it on the, you're gonna put it on to the brightest setting on the light so that you can see it, but it doesn't hurt your eyes. All right, so you're gonna adjust the diaphragm so that the allows the most amount of light in right up here, but it doesn't hurt your eyes. Okay, that's what you wanna do. All right, so let's write it down. Here's the stuff. I have it written over here. Stage should be all the way down. And to get your microscope into beginning positions, the stage should go all the way down. Before start using your microscope. Which objective should be on? Low power. You always start off with low power. Then you go up to higher powers, okay? And the low power is also called the scanning. The low power scanning objective. And the diaphragm is on a level that is that allows the most amount of light, that allows the most amount of light. All right. Still, we have one more part right here. All right. I don't think I showed that. I don't think the first one got to see that. Hold on a second, let me get this here. All right, so we wrote all that right there here. Um, let's go back to stop the share for a second here. And we're gonna show the next part. Okay. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is if you get your, your uh, let's say we were looking at, let's say this was a microscope slide and we, we clip it in. You clip it in by pulling back this right here the slide, and then you clip in the slide right there, and it clips in. I, I use my course adjustment to, to zoom it into focus. All right, it actually works even without power right now because there's still light in here, all right? All right, I got it into focus. I use my fine adjustment to get into focus and clear. If I wanna go up to my next power, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move it to where I, the part I wanna see. All right, I wanna move it to the part that I wanna see and I'll put that in the center. I'm gonna put, I want the KJ in the center. There it is. All right, the KJ is in the center. I got it clear. All right, and then I move after I have it clear and centered, then I move up to the next power. But when I move up to the next power, I don't say, well, I need to move the stage down to move up to the next power, because I don't want to hit the stage. No, I just go ahead. I don't move the stage down. I just switch the next power 
And then I use the fine adjustment to make it clear. And I move the stage around so that I can see the part that I want to see. All right. And I make it clear. All right. So let's write this last part before we uh, do that here. Stop for the day. All right. Make sure that the image is is centered and it's also clear. All right, and then change powers without moving the stage down. Change powers without moving the stage down. So do you move the stage down? Do not. All right. Um, I'm going to pause the recording right now, and I'm going to do the rest of it uh, after. All right. Uh, so after you've copied that down and you filled out all these boxes, again, those boxes are right in here. All right. After you've done that, what we're going to do next is on the back side. Okay. All right. Yours shouldn't look that bad on the back. It should look more like. Let me show you here. more like this right here and so what you're going to do on this area right here is you're going to go to uh this this uh microscope deal and it's called nc community college bio network all right and you say well how do i get to there um i i just typed in this is how i did it i typed in virtual microscope all right, and I type in virtual microscope, press enter. It's the first one, okay? And when I get a virtual microscope, it's gonna show me this, and then it takes me to uh, a lab, a simulated lab, okay? All right, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this, and you scroll down a little bit, and you're gonna click explore. All right, and we're gonna look at um you're going to look at some of the different slides here all right we're going to look at all right i'm going to first look at plant slide plant cells and so let me do that here all right all right i'm only at plant cells and i have this right now so far this is going to this will be my microscope all right, and then I'm gonna use my course adjustment first. All right, and I use my course adjustment and you can start to see the microscope. It's almost like a real microscope. All right, and then I use my fine adjustment to make it a little bit clearer. I can adjust my amount of light, how much light I let in. I'm letting in a good little bit of light here. Looks better. All right, and then uh, once, and then I can move it around to where I want to look at. All right, and so I'm just going to keep it right over here. I want this in the center. I want to see what this looks like right here. I want to see what this looks like. Then I click on 10x. And when I get to 10x, I can see what it looks like right here. All right, I get a little bit more, and you can see those cell walls really clearly. All right, and I can sharpen my focus by doing that i can change my light if i can see a little better all right then i can i could also move it around okay all right and so that's what i have 40x oh i can really start seeing the chloroplasts here now you can really start seeing those chloroplasts now let me get this a little adjusted you can see those chloroplasts in there and there's the nucleus all right, that's one cell right there I have, right all right there. All right, and so you're gonna draw that out, okay? And that's the nucleus with it. And you can see those chlora, chloroplasts beautifully. And these are the nucleus. And then I can click on 100X and it says, in order to do that, you gotta add some oil. So I'm gonna click over here. I clicked on the oil and now it's giving me the, what it looks like under at 100X, which is a thousand magnification here, 
All right, and so, and I can add or take away light. And I typically don't want to use this one because they'll mess it up a lot. I don't want to use this one really too much. I want to use only this one here. And I can move it around. You can see those chloroplasts. Those are what make the plant green. They have chlorophyll in it. All right. And so what I'm going to do right here is um, I'm going to, going back to my picture here, I'm going to draw what it looks like under 4X. 10x, 40x, and then I'd ask you to go ahead and do 100x, okay? 100x, and you're gonna, this is going to say plant cell, and you're going to draw what it looks like under each of those situations, all right? And so, and this would be a total magnification of times the eyepiece, which would be, this would be 40. The total magnification here would be 100. The total magnification here would be times 10, which would be 400. And the total magnification here is 100 times 10, which is 1000 X. And so we want, I want you to write the total magnification and draw a picture of what you see on each of those. And I wanna tell you which specimens to do in just a second here. Let me figure it out here. All right. All right, so once you're done right here, you're gonna see that you have this right here and this is your, that we are now done with this slide. It says remove it. And it says once you're done with the oil immersion lens, you have to wipe it off with tissue paper. So it's gonna have you cleaned it off. And what you're gonna do next is, again, you're gonna be doing the plant cell under 4X, 10X, 40X, and the 100X. I said, draw an extra one and then tell the uh, magnification. So four times 10 would be a 40 X. Uh, uh, 10 times 10 would be a hundred X. That means this is a hundred times bigger. The next one is 40 X, which would time the ocular piece, which is 10, that'd be 40, 400 X. And then this last one would be a thousand X. This last one with a hundred X objective and the 10 uh, uh, lens, 10 power lens. All right, the other ones you're gonna do, so you're gonna draw a picture for each of those and you're entitled to magnification. You're gonna do gram stain uh, mixed bacteria, and you're gonna do all four. All right, so make sure you do all four. This would be 100X. And then, and you're gonna do, do the blood for human, and then the tendon for human. All right, and so you're gonna draw those pictures, and you did the front, and that is all you are to do today. Um, it'll count as a 12 point participation grade total. Uh, so do that here today. All right. Have a good one.